With us now, we have our electronic media representatives. <laughs> First, we have lecture and program coordinator, Angelique Gibson, and one of her students, Michelle Fox. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. All right, so Angelique, electronic media, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, electronic media is actually a really big term. So it's covering design for web, it's also covering video production, it's covering music production, it's, con it's covering sound production and animation. So it's pretty much all content generation that we can do for either the internet or for broadcast or even for film. Okay, so Michelle, what part of electronic media are you interested in? When I came into the program, I initially thought I wanted to do web design, but once I got into the program, I I mean, I love doing all of it, especially I hit animation last quarter, and I just really got into it. It was so fun because I'm a really detailed oriented person and that was something you had to have and I just I loved that that was a lot of fun okay so you're almost at the end of your electronic yes. media degree yes. and you've decided to go on for a bachelor's degree in communications yes. why did you decide to do that um, I decided to do that because I just wanted to have more options open for me and with the electronic media that's something you could either do full-time like focus on or you could also do freelance so it gives you a lot of options as what you could do okay um, Angelique what what kind of person pursues an electronic media degree? Uh, <laughs> okay, so the main, the main things are really uh, artistic people, people okay. who want to make something that, that, that is very imaginative. Uh, so there's this artistic creative element, but there's also this resourceful driven element because <clears throat> in the world when you're trying to go for jobs, when you're going for work, there are still some advertising houses, there's still some broadcasting places, but more and more, uh, there's an expectation that you'll run your own business in a way. It's very entrepreneurial. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're you're having to work with clients one on one. So you have to be driven and you have to be open and patient. Oh, so. okay. So you can't now see. In my experience, because I used to be a news person, so mm -hmm. I worked with a lot of electronic media type of people. Many of them said what you said before we started, which is, I'm not used to being in front of the camera. I like to be behind true. it. Yeah. So, um, so is that a problem sometimes if there's an expectation that they have to work with the client being some, somewhat of a shy person who may not always want to be out front? There is. And you, we, we talk about how do you cast? How do you find talent? Because sometimes you have to have someone stand in if someone's too shy to go in front. Or you have to be able to coach them a little in order to get them to say the things that they need to say to sell their business or to make their product shine. 